that saying, don't leave your tampon in for more than four hours, that's probably because it could lead to toxic shock syndrome or TSS. Before we go any further, TSS is super rare. It's so rare in Australia that there are no reliable figures on it, but in the US, about 2 out of 100,000 women aged between 15 and 24 were reported in 2003. But if you get it, it's serious and can lead to some really terrible complications. TSS is caused by a bacteria called Staphylococcus aureus. Yep, that's the one that causes golden staph. These bacteria are actually everywhere, from the air, to your skin, to your mucosal membranes, which includes your vagina, to the screen you're probably watching this on. But we're immune to it. In other words, our bodies are good at not letting these bacteria harm us. We kill them first. But if a tampon is left in too long, it can actually make it quite comfortable for the nasty bacteria to live in because of the chemical composition of the tampon, we don't know why, and increasing the amount of oxygen in the vagina. And they can build a home, multiply, and start producing a toxin called toxic shock syndrome toxin 1 if you're interested. Most adults are also immune to this toxin, but if you're not, well, that's when you might get TSS. It first became a thing in the late 70s, early 80s, when some clever person found that 95% of all TSS cases had to do with women having their periods, and 99% of these women were using tampons. Since then, it has been found that leaving tampons in for over 4 hours, decreasing the absorbance of tampons, and observing hygiene in general has helped in bringing those cases of TSS right down. But did you know that men can get TSS as well? Yep, that's right. Tampons aren't the only breeding grounds for TSS. Non-menstrual TSS, those not associated with periods, are caused by both Staphylococcus aureus and another nasty Streptococcus pyogenes, and can be a result of surgery, childbirth, or even the flu. Both types of TSS have quite a few symptoms, including a fever, chills and muscle aches, vomiting or diarrhea, or a skin rush that looks a little bit like a sunburn, all of which happen over quite a short period of time. Thanks to modern medicine, TSS is totally treatable. I guess firstly, take the tampon out, then you'll be admitted to hospital where they'll give you antibiotics, a drip to increase your blood pressure and to treat dehydration, and any other complications, for example kidney failure which is a common one. But like we said at the beginning, remember, TSS is rare. You can significantly reduce the risk of getting it by changing tampons regularly, only unwrapping a tampon just before you use it and not touching it more than you need to, washing your hands before and after putting a tampon in, and avoiding tampons when your flow is light, because they can actually scrape the wall of your vagina. Ouch.